All right, guys, Rob here again with Final Boss Gamers. Last time we did background music. This time we're going to do lives and score so we can implement a win and a lose condition. All right, first thing we're going to do is go here to Attributes, Create New. Uh, first one we're going to start out here with is Lives. It's a number. We're going to set it to four. So we'll have a couple starting lives. Uh, next one we're going to go ahead and just create score as long as we're here. Uh, number, set it to zero because it's going to start there. I like to save a lot so you'll notice me doing that quite a bit. Now we're going to go ahead and make a uh, behavior for drawing the score. So we'll click on scene behaviors, click on uh, drawing, and uh, we're going to name it draw score. Big surprise there. Alright, um, go here to drawing, grab the uh, draw text at. Alright, now we'll grab the, uh, let's see where is it at, the text. allows you to have text plus text. What this will allow us to do is to actually say what we're displaying, and I just have the number up there. I put the score over here in the second one, and uh, just write out score. Position it at zero zero, so it's going to be at the top left corner, and make sure to attach it to scene, so it'll actually render during game time. Okay, and uh, for this one, uh, whenever the time we want to increase the score is whenever the ball collides with one of these uh, squares. So we'll go here, and you'll notice these are all the collisions here, and we'll grab set score equal to, uh, and for this one we're going to want it to increment, so every time it'll keep track of what the score was, and then just add to it. So we have score plus one, save that, and all right, let's go ahead and test out the game. And as you'll see top left here, the score is updating every time the ball collides with one of these blocks, and that's exactly what we wanted to do. Okay, now let's go ahead and implement the lives attribute because we've already got it created. Now we need to make it do something. And the only time we want lives to change at this point is when the ball goes out. Okay, so we'll go ahead and grab the setter for lives and put that under where it checks to see if the scene is transitioning. All right, put that in there. And this is going to be a decrement, so it's going to keep track of where lives was at and then just subtract one from that. So, let's so, hope. Don't, don't need that. I've already got one in there. Okay, go to attributes here. Game attributes. Grab lives. Put that in there. And it's just going to be lives minus one. And that's already in the scene, so we don't need to attach to that. But we will need to make another draw method for uh, drawing the lives. And you could put them in the same as the uh, score method, but it just it seems better to keep those things separate for now. Okay, so drawing. Grab some text. And we're going to want it to, again, we're going to do the text plus text. That way we can display what it is we're drawing. So we'll type in lives, and then we'll go to game attributes again, and grab lives, put that in there, and we'll set it equal to, I guess, what, 50 and a 0 for Y. Save that, and we'll need to remember to attach that to the scene. Save that. All right, and we'll test the scene out. Okay, and as you can see, the score and the lives are a little too close together, so we're going to close that out, go back into our uh, draw lives method, and we'll adjust that, add another 50 to it, so make it 100, and set y equal to 0. All right, and we'll test that out. Okay, and as you'll notice, almost on the top left right there, lives, every time the ball goes out of bounds, it uh, adjusts that. Make sure to comment and subscribe, and check out the next video in the series.